and to make it worse, he was just a monkey. Man, it's amazing to see how good Superman looks in a suit, and I'm not referring to the classic blue spandex, so it shouldn't come as a surprise that he managed to get with Lois Lane also when he was dressed as Clark Kent. <laughs> I guess that's why Barney Stinson is such a hit with the ladies, eh? Are you sure that S doesn't stand for suit up, Kal-El? Anyway, changing into costume mode always applies to our favorite superhero, so I've decided to give you a little treat today with my top 10 Superman suit up scenes in the movies. All right then, it's time to get dressed. What's a classic suit up scene if you don't get to see it happen inside a telephone booth or an elevator? Now, I know that our favorite Superman returns multiple times when it comes to power demonstrations and flexes, but this movie is so good that it gives us an elevator dressing scene. The whole thing happens very quickly as Clark Kent realizes that his darling Lois is nowhere to be found, so he makes a quick trip to the elevator and takes flight even before the door shut in front of him. Look, I know it doesn't seem feasible for Superman to just take off his entire outfit with one swing, but who cares? It looks amazing and the brevity of the scene is what makes it impactful. Looks like the Man of Steel can give the Flash a run for his money even in this scenario. Damn, this moment always gets me hyped up. After Lex Luthor issues his evil villain warning, everyone at the Daily Planet starts a discussion that also involves a dude asking whether Superman's suit is made of silk or plastic. Where do you get that blue suit? Did he have it made? Is it silk? Is it plastic? Now, I'm not sure what kind of environmental concerns the Man of Steel's fighting for, but he sure knows how to make a sneaky escape as he slides out of the crowd just like Leonardo DiCaprio slides out of a 25-year-old model's DMs. To top it off, Clark jumps off the building so casually, you'd almost think that he's diving into a swimming pool. Anyway, he quickly changes gears and outfits, after which Superman gets to work. Looking at this scene kind of reminds me of how Tony Stark suited up into Iron Man after Loki threw him off Stark Towers in the Avengers. Well, it looks like DC did it first. Don't get me wrong, I absolutely love the custom blue spandex suit, but there's something about the color black that really does it for me. This is yet another reason to celebrate the Snyder Cut as Kal-El wanders around his Kryptonian chamber and tries to connect with his dad's consciousness, hoping to find his path again. It doesn't take long for him to be introduced to the very much awaited black suit, and oh boy, our man looks sick in it. I'd say that the true charm of this scene is to watch Superman fly up to the sun after donning his new outfit, and he just takes in the rays to let everyone know that DC DC's ultimate alien boy is back in business. Now, I don't know about you, but I kind of prefer the Man of Steel in a black costume. I mean, sure, it's mostly associated with legendary villains like Darth Vader, but come on, yeah? Variety is the spice of life. We usually associate alleys as places where shady businesses always go down. They're the kind of places where you'd find an angry Ezra Miller or Robert Pattinson trying to get into character for the Batman. But then again, every place has its benefits. And in this scene from Superman 2, the alley turns out to be the perfect spot for Clark Kent to sneakily do his thing and take off for action. Now, just like the elevator scene, this one's a very quick transition as Kal-El quickly rushes into the alley and gives us the trademark shirt burst before he quickly shifts into his Superman costume and goes, up, up, and away. I guess this was why Tobey Maguire used the same line when he was trying to activate his organic webs in Spider-Man. Up, up, and away, web! Sorry, wrong franchise, but you know I love me some Peter Parker, right? You must have heard the saying, less is more. So I'm gonna try and stick to that logic as I mentioned one of the more forgettable Superman flicks. Look, um, 
Superman 3 was uh, different, you could say, but that doesn't necessarily make it better. I mean, the plot was all over the place, kind of like Disney's PR after the whole Little Mermaid fiasco. But hey, I'm not a film critic, so I'll just stick to what I know best, and that's covering the slick suit-up scene. It happens in the middle of nowhere when Clark notices some suspicious vehicles nearby. His own car is broken down too, so he uses the distraction to evade his lady friend, and then he runs sideways to some fences to give us a trippy effect. Soon enough, he's wearing the beloved Superman suit again, and he takes flight to do his job. It was a short and sweet moment, but unfortunately, it couldn't really justify the rest of the movie. Clark, may I tell you something? My oil pan is leaking. You didn't have to cut me Yep, I know, I know. Here I am again with another Brandon Routh entry. This one's a basic scene that's kind of Superman's trademark reveal, but there's something about the timing of the moment that really makes it stand out. A plane's about to crash, and Kal-El's about to take off so that he can give the TV region another entry for one of his videos, but before that, he's got to get out of his human clothes. Luckily for him, though, everybody's busy checking out the plane because they want to upload it as a TikTok or Instagram reel. The Man of Steel takes advantage of the situation and flashes up in the best way possible by showing his iconic S symbol in typical Superman fashion. We all know what he does after that, but man, I'm a total simp for such moments. See, this is something that the MCU can never take away from DC. And come to think of it, the most iconic costume from Marvel is Hulk's invincible set of purple pants. No, the Iron Man suit doesn't count because it's a literal weapon. Would you like to get a cup of coffee sometime? I know that's full or a drink. Good night, Catherine. Good night. And here's another B-grade movie with an A-grade scene. Clark Kent has to face off against his evil clone and is given the kind of whooping that would even put Loki's puny god moment to shame. All hope seems lost for our beloved alien boy, but then he turns the tables and chokes his evil clone to death in a bizarrely choreographed fight scene. But that's not the moment I'm covering here. It's when the clone vanishes and Superman officially becomes, well, Superman again by pulling his shirt apart and giving us the iconic reveal just like he did in the previous entry. It's the build-up towards this suit up that really works for me and the costume really kind of serves as a mark of victory for the overpowered alien boy. I should also give evil Superman some credit here because he spawned dozens of copies like Homelander, Omni-Man and that creepy kid from Brightburn. Out of all the places a man can change his clothes, would you ever have believed that our very own Clark Kent would do it in the middle of a rotating entrance to a mall? Gen Z kids might not know this, but back in the 70s, anything was possible. And this scene is living proof of that. Lois Lane finds herself in a tricky situation as she hangs off a chopper stuck on top of a skyscraper. So her lover boy kal has to do something and do it quickly. He doesn't have much time as there are too many people around him, so he thinks fast and makes a quick costume upgrade by using his super speed to create an illusion with the rotating doors. He even catches the attention of one of the bystanders but excuses himself like the super gentleman that he is. Bad Jim! Woo! Excuse me. That's a bad outfit! <laughs> then of course, he saves the day yet again by rescuing Lois and earning her cute puppy dog eyes as a reward. Wait! Who are you? I'm Vengeance. In time, they will join you when the sun comes. Warner Brothers might have made a mess of the DCEU, but the Snyderverse was a very promising time for young fans, and Man of Steel kicked it off in superb fashion. Since we're talking about suit-up scenes, I'm looking now where Kal-El meets his dad's projection in the Kryptonian chamber and is given a lecture about doing good for the people of Earth. That's what this symbol means. The symbol of the House of El means hope. That sounds a bit boring, doesn't it? But the old man makes it worth our wait when he shows his son the Superman outfit that everyone's been dying to see. The Man of Steel doesn't disappoint and dons the suit in epic fashion as he shows off his new costume as if he's introducing the iPhone 14. This scene kind of doubles up as a first flight as well because Superman takes off immediately and eventually gains his flying powers after a couple of overpowered jumps. Now that's a two-in-one deal, just like Discovery and HBO nowadays. What are you doing? They only lack the light to show the way. Well, 
this reason above all their capacity for good, I have sent them you, my only son. An OG scene will always have a special place in our hearts and that's exactly why this one lands on the top of my list. Clark Kent makes his way inside the Fortress of Solitude and finds a projection of his dad, played by Marlon Brando, who was fresh off the success of the Godfather films. He goes on to give his son a detailed lecture about his identity. Who am I? Your name is Kalel. You are the only survivor of the planet Krypton and is backed up by some trippy visuals that have been clearly inspired by 2001 A Space Odyssey. At the end of everything, we finally get to witness the first proper cinematic souped up of Clark Kent into the Man of Steel. Yeah, I know there were other movies before this, but come on now, Superman movies only became a thing after the 1978 film. Bad vibrations? And there you have it. Those are my top 10 Superman suit up scenes in the movies. Like, share and subscribe to show some love and let me know if you want more Superman content. You can also check out the exclusive links in the description below. All right then, I'll see you in the next one.